Sagittarius. This is your December reading for 2020 for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node signs of Sagittarius. So be sure to check your other signs if you're not resonating, possibly your Moon sign. Um, North Node, I like to look, excuse my dog, she's over here slurping down her water. <laughs> Um, North Node is important because that's kind of where we're headed in this life. So, um, let's get started. Uh, this is your layout. So we will be pulling cards for each one of these keywords. Maybe what is causing confusion in the month of December, what to trust your instincts about. Um, we have release, what you need to release. What will bring abundance? Renewal, if something will be renewed or coming back. If you're at an impasse, um, basically, if you're kind of trying to decide between this or that, we'll pull a card about that. And then we'll have some Zodiac cards for uh, to pull a card about for your soulmate and how others perceive you. And I will be clarifying as well with these decks. All right, so this is for Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, and north node. All right. Abundance. What will bring Sagittarius abundance in December? Trusting your intuition will bring you abundance. This is our high priestess. She is your, your intuition. Trusting yourself. This is the you know card. We will be clarifying, but that is kind of a good sign. You already know what's going to bring you abundance in December. What will be renewed for Sagittarius? Kind of come back to life or renewed for Sagittarius in December. <laughs> All right, magician. So this is um, your focused creativity, your manifesting, um, trying to turn your visions into reality. Um, it's your inspired action. And this is telling you, you have all the resources to do that. So whatever it is you're trying to manifest back to life, um, you have the resources to do that. So we're going to clarify. Take a little, this is incredible. Two major arcanas for kind of letting you know you already know and you have all the resources. Um, it's, I'm sure, feeling a bit vague for you right now. Um, but trust me, those are, that's very good cards to lead with. So if you're at an impasse, which way should Sagittarius head toward? If they are kind of at a, I don't know if I should go this way or that way or choose this or that. What should they head toward? <laughs> My gosh. This is two of wands. This is actually when we're making that decision. We've got the world in our hand. And we are, we're deciding the path that we're taking. This is weird. <laughs> um, it's like these cards are matching up with these instead of giving us answers. It's like spirits messing with us right now. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> we're definitely gonna have to clarify. So release, what should Sagittarius, Sagittarius release in December? Two cards. All right. The moon. That's the unknown. That's secrets that can be, you know, hidden secrets, things like that. It's also our instinct. And then the eight of wands. That is um, communication. 
So maybe to release um, communication that's kind of done in the dark there. Maybe, maybe not do that. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go ahead. What is causing confusion or clouded um, Sagittarius judgment for December? All right. Three of Pentacles. So that's a collaboration, possibly teamwork, things kind of coming together. And that's with the Lord of Shadows. So this is the death card. Um, this is about an ending, time to move on from something, a transformation. So maybe you're confused if you should end um, some, some kind of collaboration or something that you've teamed up with someone um it can also represent like your craftsmanship or your you know like uh, things are actually coming together and you're um you're actually finally creating and getting paid for that um so maybe you're maybe that has ended and you're confused at why for some of you for some of you it could be you're not sure if you should end this um, certain thing because why should I end it if it's working and it's coming together and things like that. So we'll get a little more clarity as we go. Instinct. What should Sagittarius trust their instinct about for December or in December, during December, however? Woo. All right, so this might be why if you are supposed to be ending something or maybe um, it did end. This could be why. There is a new um, opportunity, a new um, inspiration, a new idea, a new action. That's This is um, with passion. If you can see the difference in the color, this is life right here. This is inspiration. This is passion. This is what we, we live for. That's what makes life worth living. Trust your instinct about this passion, whatever you are passionate about, whatever is going to bring you life. Um, go with that, Misha. You can't be up here. I'm trying to do the tarot cards. Hmm, are you trying to say hi? Huh, are you trying to say hi? All right, so let's go ahead and clarify, Misha. I cannot have you up here. I can't have you up here. Here, sit back here. <laughs> All right, so abundance. Let me clarify this reading for Sagittarius. Why is the high priestess here for abundance? So we have the seven of wands. This is um, where we're actually deciding if we want to fight for this still. What is this? And there is our fire energy. This can be you. We're, you know, this is you here deciding if you want to fight for this or not. And you did get the high priestess, meaning you know what you need to do or you know what if you want to fight for it or not. Um, and it's basically telling you, you know, you want to fight for it because that's, what's going to bring you abundance. Um, sevens are that step back. We're taking a step back and we're asking ourselves, is this worth it? Do I still want it? Do I want to fight for it? Um, and here is the queen of wands. She's a fighter. She's fiery. She's, um, courageous you know so all right for some of you however i do have the king of swords under the deck um he's a bit like you know i guess i was you know thinking the queen of wands or i mean sorry the queen of swords 
you know, where you're going to cut something out. So for some of you, it might be, um, you know what you need to do. You actually need to not fight for this. You need to cut it out of your life and that will bring abundance. You know, maybe whatever this is, is um, sucking the energy from you, um, dwindling down some of your finances, things like that. So for some of you, it might mean that you are fighting for it. Some of it, some of you, it might mean you're actually releasing it. Um, All right, so let's go ahead on to Renewal. We ended up with the Magician. Wow. <laughs> okay, uh, Renewal means something coming back to life. And this is also um, a reunion card. This is the Six of Cups. So it's about childhood nostalgia, things like that. But if it's coming back, then it would be um, a reunion and someone's coming in to make you an offer. There's an ex could be coming back and you might very well be manifesting that because we have the magician. So, wow, okay. Uh, and it's, you've been feeling like they're the one that's got away. This is the five of cups. That's crying over spilled milk, um, feeling regret that things didn't work out with that person. Um, all right, so I guess you're feeling like that's worth fighting for, for some of you, and an ex is coming back. So the impasse, where we're trying to decide which way we want to go, we've got the world in our hands. Let's see, why is the two of wands here? Not literally in this deck, we don't have the world in our hands, but we do in this one with these two of wands. All right, so the Seven of Swords is, um, you know, the swords are our thoughts, our thoughts and our ideas. And this is the thief. Um, he's stealing, stealing the thoughts or ideas and things like that. So I, my goodness, these dogs. Um, <laughs> No, you girls need to just join in. Hey, cool it. So, I want to clarify some more, but with, when I get the Seven of Swords, that is basically like, don't be your own worst enemy. Don't steal your own happiness, in a sense. Like, you're probably sitting here, um, oh, I could do whatever I want. I got the world in my hands, you know, like, what, what should I decide? Um, just as long as you don't, steal your own happiness, I feel like no matter which way you choose, um, what do we have? Oh, victory. Yeah, you'll have success and victory. Um, public recognition even. Um, this is under the deck. So as long as you don't... Um, hey, 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 hey. Cool it. All right. I'm going to... I will clarify that one. Come on, girls. You're not going to be able to be in here. Release the moon and eight of wands. Ooh. Wow. We've got this, um, the ace of wands again. This is that spark of inspiration. So, and then... This is the Queen of Pentacles. She is all about herself in a good way, meaning she is completely independent um, financially and otherwise. She she runs her own shit. So I almost feel like this is saying release the need to feel like you don't know what's, you know, when the moon, we, that's the shadows, everything, you know, things can be hidden in the shadows and we feel like we don't have all the inf information. That's where secrets are hidden. Um, but we also are supposed to trust our own intuition. And the eight of wands is about communication. So when I was saying earlier to release communication with others, maybe in the dark, I actually feel like this is saying, um, for a lot of you, release the need to ask others what they think, 
because you feel like you're unsure. Um, this is saying you you have the 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 inspiration here. You have the passion, um, the fire, and this she is completely independent. All you need to do is release what others are thinking. Um, what their opinions on the situation might be and really hone in on you, yourself and your ideas and your passion for the month of December. So confusion, we have the death card and the three of pentacles. And that was kind of saying that as well, right? Wasn't it like stop, maybe stop collaborating with others because that's causing too much confusion, whatever their, um, you know, these conversations or um, things like that. So, woo, yeah. So as you can see, the waters are very rocky. Um, he's juggling and it's just making things imbalanced. So having too many uh, opinions and things like that going on, that's, yeah, look at this, too many choices. This is too many choices being in the clouds. This is what we're, tr you know, this is the clouds. It's causing too much confusion with all everybody else's opinions in the mix. Um, so it's saying you know, to have a transformation, have that die off this collaboration with the others. And really, um, that's what, that's what's causing confusion. And then this over here is kind of reiterating that by saying, have the, have that die off and focus on, you know, focus on you, <laughs> focus on you and your thoughts. Um, Let's see over here, instinct. And trust your passion and your instinct. So tell me about this Ace of Wands. My goodness. Trust your instinct. Wow, wow. Look at all these aces. So the divine, the aces are when the divine is handing you this wonderful gift. Um, trust your instincts because... You are being handed two aces here by the divine. So you need to be clear and get all the, the clouded and confusion out so you can see those. Because sometimes we miss the aces. We completely, people can bring us down. They can lower our vibration, you know, things like that. So that's what this would mean by stealing your own happiness. You know, if you have too much, too many negative thoughts from others coming in and stuff like that. You might not see the ace. So just, oh, and then we've got the wheel of fortune under there. This, your instincts are going to uh, bring you the uh, wheel of fortune there. That's incredible. All right. Let's get some zodiac signs. I might, um, I've got this deck here too. So if I'm still kind of unsure, but it really is coming together here of what spirit is trying to tell you. So for your soulmate, soul tribe, best friend, lover, let's see the energy of this person here, Scorpio. So we have the card Scorpio for soulmate. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a Scorpio. It can be, um, it can be a, another water sign, a Pisces or a Cancer. Um, however, it might not even be a water sign at all. It might just be someone that carries the characteristics of a Scorpio. Um, this is a very self-reliant energy or person, very powerful, very wise. Um, they might seem actually wise beyond their years. Um, they can be dominant uh, and they can seem secretive. So um, let's see how others perceive you. I'm going to put Scorpio back in. And let's see how others perceive you, Sagittarius. Pisces. So they're perceiving you as someone who is very... Um, you're ho honed in on your... You know, you're really trusting your intuition. You're very kind of... Um, alluring very sensitive um i mean that does it's you know that is sagittarius to me someone who's very sensual and things like that um with pisces though sometimes they can't function alone so that's where you know you're kind of unsure am i supposed to you know 
not listen to everybody and things like that. So that that makes sense. I am so sorry about the dogs. Polly, hey, stop it. Okay. What else? No. Um, let me get an oracle. I was thinking I was going to pull one of these, but everything is really, um, really clarified well, and I don't want to confuse it anymore. Hey, and I need to do something with these dogs before I do any more readings. Hey, pull it. Come here. All right, spirit. If we could get one last card, last advice for this reading. Polly, come here. Come here. All right, this is for Sagittarius. Trust. Leap. Hey. Leap and come here. You're really driving me nuts, girlfriend. So this says trust. Leap into the unknown. Have faith and move forward. Believe you will fly. So possibly that's, you know, if you're pulling in other people's opinions and things like that. Um, it's because you're unsure because it is the unknown. But man, look at the colors on these two cards. Look at how similar. This is passion. Trust in that passion. Trust in this. This is the spark of life. This is inspiration right here. Trust in that. Um, even if it is unknown territory. Have faith and move forward and believe that you will fly. Because you got two aces here, baby. You got um, universe is on your side with this one. Thank you so much. Please like, share, and subscribe if you received any clarity or help or even entertainment from this. Thank you, and I will see you next time.